Today, let's talk about procrastination. But before we do that, if you haven't done it yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up so that more people can see it. Without a shadow of a doubt, procrastination is a common phenomenon that refers to delaying or postponing tasks or decisions that need to be completed or made. We often delay these decisions, we delay these tasks until the very last moment or until the moment when one is under pressure to act. It is characterized by impulsive tendency to put off tasks that require effort, that require focus, commitment or that are unpleasant for us or boring or complex. One of the main reasons why people procrastinate is because they seek immediate gratification. This immediate gratification means that we seek pleasure and we want to have it now. We want to feel it now. This is often typical of people who are not able to delay gratification even if they could get for that some long-term benefits. They prefer to do something that is more enjoyable or less challenging rather than the task they should be doing. This preference for immediate gratification can lead to oodles of fun and pleasant activities now, but then again it also means wasted time and, mean, and it means missed opportunities for the future as tasks pile up and deadlines loom. Another factor that contributes to procrastination is the fear of failure or perfectionism. These two, by the way, are very closely connected. People who are afraid of falling or making mistakes may delay starting a task because they want to avoid the negative emotions associated with the possible failure. Similarly, those who hold themselves to high standards may put off tasks because they feel overwhelmed by the perceived difficulty or complexity of the task and it can stop them from doing anything at all. Procrastination can have really negative consequences on our personal and professional life. It can lead to increased stress of course, anxiety, lower productivity, lower efficiency, maybe some missed opportunities, but also it can damage our relationship and reputation. However, it is possible to overcome procrastination by many simple things you can implement yourself. Did you know that? You can overcome procrastination by breaking tasks into smaller, more manageable steps, by setting realistic goals, by creating a schedule or to-do list, and holding uh, yourself accountable for completing tasks on time. Most effectively, however, we can fight procrastination by regular psychological support. A good and trusted psychologist can make it so much easier for you to get your procrastination under control. To conclude, procrastination is a behavior that is impulsive. It seeks immediate gratification and it can be fueled by fear of failure and by your perfectionism. It can lead to negative consequences, wasted time, but it can be overcome with some strategies to increase motivation and accountability. And first of all, most importantly, psychological support. Have you ever experienced procrastination yourself? Or maybe you have observed procrastination in other people? Feel free to share some examples and stories about procrastination in the comment section below. And I'll speak to you next time.